A new study shows there is more water on the moon than ever thought. That's great news for NASA, which plans to return astronauts to the moon in 2024. Our moon holds more water in more places than previously thought, according to two studies published on Monday. Until around a decade ago, people thought the moon was bone dry, but a series of findings showed our natural satellite has traces of water ice in permanently shadowed craters at its polar regions. Now, a pair of studies in the journal Nature Astronomy suggests water could be even more widespread. It could be located even in sunlit areas. More than 15,400 square miles of lunar terrain have the capability to trap water in the form of ice, according to a team led by the University of Colorado's Paul Hain. That's 20% more area than previous estimates. NASA plans to return astronauts to the lunar surface in 2024. That's the first step toward a permanent outpost and eventual journeys to Mars. If people can extract that lunar water, it means that astronauts could use it as drinking water. They might even be able to split the molecules to make rocket fuel. Having ready supplies of water on the lunar surface would be a boon for colonists there. That's because it's extremely expensive to transport water to the moon. NASA's astrophysics director, Paul Hertz, said it's too soon to know whether this water found in and around the Southern Hemisphere's sunlit Clavius crater would be accessible. The surface could be harder there, ruining wheels and drills. These latest findings, nonetheless, expand the possible landing spots for robots and astronauts alike. The new study was able to unambiguously distinguish the spectral fingerprint of molecular water in a sunlit area, said lead author Casey Honeball of the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology. As for the shadowed areas rich in frozen water, temperatures are so low that they could hold on to the water for millions or even billions of years. Any water in those areas would have likely come from meteorites, comets, and other objects that once slammed into the moon's surface. The researchers identified those cold traps near the moon's north and south poles using data from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. For the recent study, the researchers used data from NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA, Airborne Telescope. They used a more precise wavelength than had been used before, six microns instead of three. Scientists found a water concentration of about 100 to 400 parts per million at Clavius Crater. That's one of the largest to be visible from Earth. That's roughly equivalent to a 12-ounce bottle of water within a cubic meter of volume of lunar soil, explains Hannibal. But not to be confused, Hannibal says it's not puddles of water, but scattered molecules that do not form ice or liquid water. Scientists believe they originate from solar winds or micrometeorites and think they might either be trapped in beads of glass or within the grains of the lunar surface to protect them from the harsh atmosphere. The researchers did not open up about how much water might be present, but according to them, anything in these regions should be easy to harvest. NASA plans to launch a water-seeking rover named Viper to the moon's south pole by the end of 2022. Astronauts would follow in a series of missions intended to set up long-term bases. NASA is going back to the moon using commercial and international partners. But this time, humans will be there to stay. It's been about 50 years since humans first set foot on the moon. And since that historic time, space exploration has experienced tremendous progress. Astronauts, including the first woman planned to land on the moon, will try to set foot on the lunar south pole by 2024. 
The lunar trip will help us reach Mars faster. The lunar landing would provide us an opportunity to test our technology and capabilities before carrying out a mission to land on Mars. Oh, I can't wait to see the first humans land on Mars. I mean, who doesn't want to experience that? However, the US Space Agency is now focused on how to extract and use the tons of ice located at the moon's south pole, which can help us breathe, stay hydrated and fuel our rockets. The Artemis program intends to prove humans can live and work on other worlds. The last moon landing happened in 1972 as part of the Apollo 17 mission. Humans have walked on moon six times in missions carried out by NASA as part of its Apollo program. to our channel and please support us on patreon.com slash cosmonology.